All right, we're joined here post-game by head coach Lance Von Vogt after a 65-250 victory over a La Sierra team who was actually coming in here after knocking off uh, Maritime. So you know they're coming in here believing, you know, we can really beat anybody, but the work got off to a, a strong start and really kept the lead for the majority of the game. What was the guy's mindset coming into the night? You know, uh, we, we, we have not been home. We've been playing on the road five straight games, and, uh, you know, we had a great crowd tonight for a cause, you know, coaches versus cancer and then breast cancer awareness. Um, you know, we had a pink out, so the fans were, were there. I think that the guys were just happy to be able to sleep in their own beds the night before the game. Yeah, okay, so a four or a four and one road trip overall, and then you come back and win the game here, so now you're, you've won five of the last six games. Uh, you're carrying this momentum into your really your first doubleheader of the conference year going to Simpson tomorrow. So does that affect the players at all, or are they are they just as hungry to get that win up at Reading? You know, it doesn't affect us. You know, we we've played back to back. That's why we do the tournaments that we do, where we go back to back. Um, we we've got plenty of guys who played 15 guys tonight, and uh, got 15 guys on the floor that got minutes and saw action. We were able to rest starters in this game because we had a lead, double digit lead for most of the game. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be ready to go. We're, we're used to this, and we prepare for this. That's why we train so hard. And then, so you mentioned the, the Coaches for Cancer cause, and you also mentioned the, the crowd support. What difference does it make playing for a cause and playing for a, a packed-out arena? Uh, how does that affect the play on the floor? You know, everybody, nobody likes to play inside an empty. You know, you got to bring your own energy, energy no matter where you're at. Uh, but to, to say that guys that, that, you know, you look at a 12th man for Seattle that just won the Super Bowl, and they give juice to that team, and... and you know, what our crowd did that for us tonight, we want to create that environment. Uh, when we have a crowd that comes in and enjoys the game and they're cheering as loud as they did, you could, I, I had to scream for my players to hear me tonight. And, and that, was, that was terrific. So we're going to build that environment here. We're going to have a packed house every game. The students are going to be getting here in droves. So, I mean, we love it. It's a college environment. Let's make it fun. So Maritime dropped a game against the La Sierra team that you just beat, and now they are tied with Simpson, 7-1 at the top of the conference. You guys just half a game back from both of them. So how big of an opportunity is this for your team, and how hungry are they? We're positioned where we want to be because we control our own destiny with three games to play. Okay, It's a process, and every game has its own life, and we focus on one game at a time. Uh, and it, it, That's the great thing about it. It's the beauty of it. Right now, we've placed ourselves in a position where we control our own destiny. Take it one game at a time. Tomorrow it's Simpson. We'll worry about the rest after that. Awesome. So the Warriors get the victory here tonight. Look forward to Simpson tomorrow. Be sure to tune in to AM 950K High with myself and Dave Rosenthal to follow that. And we'll see you at home on Thursday, a week from tonight, against Pacific Union.